welcome back to my channel. Those of you that are new, I am a master lash technician and an educator who owns her own eyelash line, salon, and academy. In today's video, we're going to do a Halloween inspired hybrid full set. We're going to use the Yegi Rainbow Lashes for the classic and the Yegi Mega Volume 2.0 Lashes for the volume. Let's go ahead and review the mapping for this look. Let's go ahead and map in where we're going to put which length. First, let's take a look at the whole eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide that eye into three parts initially, and that's where we're going to put our mega volume or our black eyelashes. So here we go. We're going to divide a little section in the front corner, about 25% of the eyelashes in the inner corner, and that's where we're going to put the nine millimeters in general. Then in the remainder of the eyelashes, we're going to divide that in two, in section one and section two. We're going to put 11 millimeters of the mega volume dark eyelashes and then the 13 millimeter mega volume dark eyelashes. But what we're going to do is in between each one of those three sections, we're going to go ahead and add a pop of color to give it a very cool effect for our Halloween hybrid look. So the dark colors or the black eyelashes, the Mega Volume 2.0s, are all going to be uh, volume fans. And the colored eyelashes, the rainbow eyelashes, are all going to be classic eyelashes. And that's what's going to give us the hybrid look. So let's go ahead and map it out. So here, we're in the first section, we're going to put a little bit of the 9mm of the dark black Mega Volume eyelashes. Next to it, we're going to put a little bit longer length, which is 11 millimeters of the pink eyelashes. Then again, right next to that, we're going to go ahead and put the 9mm of the black Mega Volume eyelashes. And you can see the 9mm dark eyelashes are basically sandwiching that pink that's going to stand out and is longer um, than those dark eyelashes. So the pink can really stand out. And you want to make sure you do at least 8 to 10 pieces of the classic right next to each other so the pink stands out. If you only do one or two, it will not stand out. And the same concept, but now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that with the middle section, which was our 11mm black Mega Volume 2.0 eyelashes. We're going to sandwich in some reds and some purples. And again, you can see the red and the purple are longer. They're 14 millimeters compared to 11 millimeters where the dark ones go. And that's again so they can pop out and look longer than the uh, black eyelashes so they can really stand out and give that really cool wispy effect. Lastly, in the outer corner, we're going to go ahead and put the 13 millimeter black mega volume 2.0 eyelashes and that we're going to sandwich in with a big chunk of the blue eyelashes so in the end we're going to give it a little bit more color just to give it that cat eye wing effect so your eye kind of goes to the wing or the outer corner and that's how it should look your final mapping results by the way all the products i'm using and i mentioned in the video are linked below so you can check that out later if you like First, we are going to prime the lashes with our Yegi primer, which will clean off any residue or excess makeup and oils from the lashes. This will help with the way the lashes bond to the extensions and result in better retention. So make sure you do it. Here we are adding all the different sizes and lengths of eyelashes we talked about in the mapping section throughout the eye. We are jumping around the eye and not applying them in order to make sure the extension has enough time to dry before we place another one right next to it. Now we started adding the Classic Mink 0.15 Rainbow Lashes. We are applying them in the pink to the inner corner of the eye, then red, purple, blue will go in the outer corner of the eye to create a nice ombre look with these colorful lashes.
Here you see the extension slanting when it is placed on the lash. To avoid this, always make sure to hold the fan in place for a second or so before you let go so it dries straight. Sometimes the mega volume lashes can close up if you do not wait for it to dry on the lash before letting go. It also helps to use a one second glue so it dries quickly in the place that you want it to dry. Notice that the lash has remains of mascara that didn't come out with the cleanser nor the primer since some mascaras are really long lasting. What you can do is lightly scrape it off with your tweezers before applying a lash extension on top. Ideally we want to do this before we start the application but if we catch it as we are applying this is how we remove it. Now if the mascara was stuck on hard we don't want to pull on the natural lash to get it off. Instead, we want to use some makeup remover, then cleanse the lashes and prime them again before we continue the application process. It's always nice to double check your work. Make sure nothing is stuck and see how the lashes are sitting by looking under using an inspection mirror. And it's also great for some pictures as well. Notice for the classic, we're just grabbing one of that colorful eyelash and applying it on one natural lash. And for the mega volume lashes, see how easy they fan out. Literally, I'm putting no effort into fanning them out. So I can move really quickly and make my volume fans and apply them as I'm making them.
directing the outer lashes by tilting them outwards to give it an extra cat eye look. Always make sure to go through the lashes one by one making sure none of them are stuck together and double check your work that you haven't missed any natural eyelashes that you can apply extensions on. Our goal is to apply on every single eyelash. Here's another technique to check for the lashes to make sure you got every single lash. Thank you for watching please like comment and share it really helps me out and i hope you have a magical day